Aloha and welcome back. This one, it's been quite a journey. The story of my pouring journey is fixing screw ups. So let's get into it. So today what I want to do is I want to build a statement piece that gets noticed from pretty far away. So I have a huge canvas here. It's uh, 24 by 30 and I'm going to do an ocean beach pour uh, like I've done before. Now it's going to be similar to these. All of my colors I've mixed two parts flow troll to one part paint, except for my white that I'm going to use to do a swipe. I mix that about two and a half to three parts flow troll to one part white. I'm going to use three drops of silicone in the white so we can get some lacing. And I'm going to mix it up pretty well because I want to have some small lacing in this one. I'm just trying something different. And I'm also going to try something different with my swipe. <laughs> I made this. I'll put together a huge piece of paper towel and I'm gonna swipe with that, but we'll see how that works. I'm gonna start with This is a Caribbean and I think I'm gonna have my beach go Like almost at an angle and maybe a little bit of a wave uh, So I want my Caribbean to be My lighter color probably just do it just like that and then this is called Ocean Green, but it looks pretty blue to me. And I'm just going to put the, all the colors on here. Uh, I'm going to go light near the beach to darker as the ocean gets deep. So it looks real or like real, just like it is in real life, you know? And then this is a turquoise green. Yeah, this is a pretty big canvas, so I'm gonna use quite a bit of paint. Actually, I've got a lot of colors here, so it's gonna be quite a few. And then we just have just a straight aqua. And then other than my beach colors, I didn't mix any of my own colors. Once we get to the beach colors, I'll explain what those are. This is a dark cobalt violet. And this is one of the ones I want to start back here. And then I'm going to go lighter up here with it. I'll probably come back with my lighter colors just to make sure that I get a good fill of colors here. And this is something I tried with the last pour that I did. It's red, violet, blue shift. Um, it comes out basically white. But then as it dries, it gives more of a sparkle and it's supposed to change colors between the red, violet and blue. But my last pour that I used this on, it didn't really give me those shifting colors, but it did give a pretty good sparkle to the paint. So that's the only reason I decided to use it again. And then we have a dark ultramarine. That's my last one. So I'm going to put that out here in the back, a little bit thicker, and then we'll go lighter with it up here. Still want to have some of this color up here, but just a little bit lighter. All right, now I think I'm going to come back with a little bit more of this. This is the ocean green. Now, I've never used a canvas this big before, so I'm not sure about my how much paint I'm going to actually use. So I want to make sure that I have plenty on the canvas so when I do my swipe, I don't get a bunch of spots where my paint is too thin. All right, then I'll come back in with my Caribbean and just go right along my line again. Uh, just a little bit thicker. All right, looks nothing like an ocean, but hopefully that'll change really fast here. All right, before I pour my beach, I'm going to go ahead and do my swipe with my white here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my silicone. I'm gonna do three drops. And yeah, a little bit of silicone goes a long way. And then I wanna mix it pretty well so I get the smaller cells. Just barely mix it, you'll get big cells. But if you mix it quite a bit, you'll get the smaller cells. And this one, I wanna make sure that I don't go too thick. because I have made the mistake of going a little bit too thick with this and then I get cracking when it dries. 
All right, now I'm gonna try my experiment here. Do a light spray on the end of the... What I'm gonna do is, oh man, I hope that blue doesn't mess with me. And I'm just gonna let that soak into the paint a little bit. And then I'm gonna drag it across, but trying to keep the whole thing flat. And that did not work at all. All right, that was a total fail. So now I'm gonna go back and do it the way I should have done it the whole time, which is just a single paper towel. I'm not sure how the filming of this fiasco is gonna turn out, but we'll see. across the center here. And I've never tried this with swiping. I don't want to mess up what I've already got, which I just did. Seems like this is the story of my pouring career is fixing screw ups, huh? <laughs> well, frustration has set in and I'm just in recovery mode at this point. Sometimes I think I try to do too much to try to keep these videos interesting you know between camera work and experimenting with different techniques I just leave too much room for screw-ups sometimes I think I'd just be better off just doing a straight pour one camera forget all the fancy stuff and if you noticed I'm doing it now without putting water on it and it seems to be working better. The only thing I'm worried about is I've got it really thick right where the wave is. So I'm hoping I can do is pour my beach and then use that same white to come across my beach. And it doesn't look horrible, it's just not exactly what I was looking for. All right, for my beach, I've got raw umber that I've mixed with a little bit of white and then I've got mainly white that I put a little bit of raw umber in. So I've got two different colors of raw umber, lightened raw umber that I'm gonna use for my sand. And what I'm gonna do is what's called a dirty pour. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the light or the dark. And then I'm also gonna put some gold in, which I've done before, which turned out really cool looking beach. But I want very little of the gold. And I'm just gonna layer this. The goal is I don't want them to mix, I want them to layer. So when I pour it out, I'm gonna get a little bit of each color. And I'm using less of the gold in the other two colors that I want. I don't want to, the gold will overwhelm it. I don't know if I quite got enough paint yet. I'll probably finish these off. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get impatient doing stuff like this where I've got to slowly go back and forth between two different colors and I just want to dump them, but I can't do that. If I do that, then I'm going to have a mess. I'm just going to have a medium colored brown and not the multicolored sand color that I'm looking for. Yeah, patience is not one of my strong suits. All right, I think I've got enough. I'm gonna just... Trying to get my cup. And I just wanna go right along that edge without hitting it at all. Uh, let's see if we can get these waves to come up on the beach without totally screwing this up. tedious. I've seen people use plastic and they'll uh, cut it in different shapes to give them a, a better shape that looks more like a beach shape. I 
which I guess I could have tried, but obviously I didn't, so we'll see what happens here. I'll try to drag this one a little further up on the beach, add it a little bit more white. We've got way too much paint in here, so I want to try to get that to tilt off. Um, try it again. All right, this is a really big canvas to try to tilt, but I'm going to try to tilt it to get some of that paint off of there. too much of my ocean at the same time. I'm pretty happy with the ocean pretty much over here. I mean, let's see what it looks like when it gets dry. I might try to fix a few spots. I see a spot over here where I've got some beach showing through that I don't really want. I got some spots over here where I'm not quite getting enough wave. I got too much color up into the wave. All right, well, here's the look of it when it's wet. But overall, I'm decently happy with it. It looks, it looks pretty good. I, some things I wish I wouldn't have tried, like that huge uh, paper towel swipe. I think that was a huge mistake. But you live and you learn. Well, I was a little harder on myself than I needed to be. It actually turned out pretty good. The lacing on the beach, I think, turned out awesome. Uh, especially over here, I think it looks a little bit better. It looks a little more natural. And then my second wave, it's got a little bit of the purple that came through. But overall, I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching. Mahalo. Until next time.